So what exactly lies here in this spot? Hey everybody, this is BSL, but Spin Goes back once again. Welcome to the next order of BSL Plays Mega Dimension Neptunia V2. Blind. Now, got some convo here. What's going on? What is this? It's a thing. What the? Weren't you? What the? Would it possibly be Sir Warchu? What? You mean that giant mouse? No way. That's the rat. He looks like a final boss. Kinda. Yeah, not possible. What kind of magic would you have to use to turn this rat into that monster? Oh, could it be because he was friend zoned? <laughs> that would be interesting. Uh, of course not. But whatever it is, I didn't expect Bisha to be the first to rush over here. When did she get over her intense fear of monsters? I bet she saw the children being attacked and shook off her trauma just like a real hero would. Let's go back her up. Are we about to fight? Huh? Whoa, that was pretty rough. Hey, Bisha, I'm not the enemy. Lady Neptune, don't get careless and don't get too close to her. Huh? It seems Sir Warichu isn't the only one acting strange. What do you mean? What? More newcomers? I'll turn any monsters in front of me into meat chunks! Meat chunks? Don't run away! I'm gonna kill all the monsters! Kill them! Kill them! Yikes! She's gone completely bonkers! Her change is crazier than blondes! <laughs> Don't be by her behavior. It's possible she views us all as enemy monsters. And this may not be limited to us. Does that mean she can look at anybody and think they're a meanie monster? Most likely. If that's the case, this is gonna be troublesome. It'd be fine if Bisha was just fighting the rat. But if we get in the middle of them, both of them might direct their attacks towards us. Right. We'll need to separate them somehow. But what would we do afterwards? If we don't know what's causing them to do this, then we won't be able to treat either of them. Hmm. Maybe it has something to do with Bisha's fear of monsters, but it's hard to imagine that she'd take it this far. It's all because of that girl! Chuko? It's too dangerous for you to be out here! Do you know how those two ended up like this? That girl had come chasing after Warichu! What girl? you that's not important i'm here to help you overcome your fear of monsters although you might find my methods extreme who is this huh what do you mean let's see why don't we start with you mr adorable little mouse what? i feel like i should recognize the voice how many times have i said that throughout this playthrough the fact that i should recognize the voice predicament, wouldn't it? Are you okay with that happening? Uh, I know. I really do, but my legs, my whole body's shaking. I see. What do you need? Unnecessary glows up. A little more motivation. <laughs> okay, so who was that? Ooh, what a novel way to recall an event. Flashing back in time and showing us what happened instead of merely summarizing it. The mysterious girl that came up during the story bothers me. I wonder who she is. Besides, even if we know what's causing it, what do we do? That's easy. We'll just fight both of them and knock them both unconscious. Transform. Am I about to fight both, both of these two? Right now, 
In order to minimize damage to the city and its citizens, they both need to be subdued. If taking them down doesn't change them, they'll at least be out cold and we can figure out what our next move should be. Understood. Then allow me to draw Sir Warwick away. In the meantime, you and the others can take care of the other. All right. This is a bit of a tough opponent for you to fight, but you're fine, right, Nep? I'm aware, and yes, I'm ready to go. Besides, I'm sure she didn't wish this upon herself either. It's the duty of a friend to stop her. What? Even though you're just an ignorant monster, you actually want to fight? Be sure. I'm gonna show you that you're nothing but meat chunks when you try to stand against me! Am I about to f Is she transforming? What the? What happened with her eyes? But yeah, we're fighting Bisha. I guess I just followed the same strategy I've been in the last couple of fights. Well, let's see what kind of damage. If I can even fight. Yeah, I am legitimately fighting her. She has five health bars. And can shoot Kampa a lot. So if I'm going to take her out, take her out quickly. Dang it, I can't. Okay, let's take Bisha down before she can do some serious damage. I guess I'll throw this on you as well, Kampa, so you can take a little bit more. This, this bit seems to be focused on going after you! Holy fuck! Neptune, break this girl! And I'm out of healing items, that's gonna suck. If I bring Kampa back, I got a feeling she's... Well, I have had the chance to go again. So should I take this time to let Delphinus this... this girl? Stop going after Kampa! Does so much damage! Get the XC drive back up. Thank you for missing. Please don't kill her. How is she able to do this? Man, she is doing some, some damage. But you know what? Neptune can take it a lot more than they can. She's going again. And I must remember. I really gotta remember. I, I really don't have any more healing items except for this one. So step back, face forward, and use it. I can't get close enough to her, so get so close I can use Critical Edge. No, I may have a chance, depending on what she does. Considering she's able to attack so rapidly. It's so much. Uh, I do have the ability to Neptune break her again, but I don't have any more healing items. Try bringing back Kampa, and then I have her heal Neptune. Now I can Neptune break her. Now I can Neptune break her again. Heal her again, Kampa. That seems to be my my main focus. As long as I keep her alive, I should be good. Can I get close? No, I can't go close enough to to use rush attacks. But I think I should be fine. After all, my XE drive does go up a little bit when she attacks me as well. 
matter of fact. I'm gonna defend. I defend, I can take whatever attack she throws at me. And then just finish her with Neptune Break. Please don't miss a lot. Good, got her. Unless somehow the rest of these shots miss, I got you, Bisha. Again, remember, I have Encampa both five levels under, so... And that takes care of Bisha. That was... that was actually quite difficult. I get a Healing Rain. Level up for Neptune. I mean Purple Heart. Nep Battle Dance. As expected of Gold Third. You're not bad yourself for a monster. Bisha, please, come to your senses. Can you not see? Look at our planet tune. Look at all of the terrified children fleeing. Children? If you think a monster can deceive me, you got another thing coming. Everyone here's a monster. Monsters are enemies of the children. Their enemies are my enemies, so all of them have to die. Why won't my voice reach you? Hmm. What the? Steamax? Regrets. What just happened? This is bad. The rat's headed towards the city. Oh, pe freaking where she just attacked <laughs> people of Platitude. It's a monster! Help me! Mommy! What can I do in this situation? Is she reacting to the children's voices? Lady Bisha! Chuko? Don't get close to Bisha right now! She's dangerous! I can't be bothered with that at a time like this! We need Presto Mask's powers in order to save my child customers! If the children, my main customer base, are lost, then... Ugh, just thinking about that makes my fur stand on end! She's she really is a shrewd business mouse. I have to help them save the kids from the monsters. I have to. Presto Mask has to save them. But monsters are. Please, listen, Bisha. Everyone is scared of monsters. Even I'm scared of them. But you don't have to force yourself to overcome your fears. I know you have the courage to accept them instead. Except my fears. I see. It's all right if I'm afraid. Yes. If you don't know fear, then you can't be a hero. Flash of light. Now that Beesh has come to her senses, all that's left is that rat monster. Please say I don't have to fight it. Then let's hurry. Beesha, are you all right in that state? Please don't push yourself. Even if it's pushing myself, I can't rest. This is exactly the time when a hero needs to appear. Please, okay, good. I don't have to fight. Provided I haven't gotten any healing, can I? Yes, I can. That's awesome. But, uh, oh, there's something here, do I? I really could use some more healing items. Development. Okay, I have enough to the ne netball. So that means it should be up here in the shop now, right? Yep. There we go. And why don't I check on my scouts? Found nothing. I couldn't find anything. Well, look again. And let's see what's going on with Steamax. Sorry to keep you waiting, Steamax. Lady Neptune and Lady Bisha, it seems you've returned to normal. Yes, it's all thanks to you for luring that rat away. <laughs> Bisha, if it's too much, then I I'm fine. It was just so sudden I got a little surprised. Still, getting a good look up close, he's really huge. Anybody would be scared of this, right? But I 
won't run anymore, and I no longer need this mask. To hide the fact that I was scared, I wore a mask and pretended to be a hero. But no matter how long I kept the mask on, or how much golden power I carried, nothing matters unless I change myself. Flash of light. The guy's gonna turn gold again. So as a first yep. step towards change, I'm not running away from you. Well said, Bisha. Allow me to take the first step with you. Let us have our premier gold third and CPU united front. I'm curious if this is going to happen in the other scenarios as well. Bisha has joined. Awesome, because I could really use your abilities. No Why aren't you king? Well, you know what to do. Interesting that you have a giant disc under you, aren't you? Haha, <laughs> 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 you missed. That's what you get. Attack with the power of love, Kampa! Heart to heart. <laughs> That's interesting. Gold form. Bazooka rapid fire, gold warrior bandom. Bandom. Any relation to Bandai? Raise turn speed. Unlock. Lowers turn speed. Let me see if I can use this on, on Pirachu. Did it work? Yeah, it sure did. Awesome. The fresh attack. The XC gauge up and get it ready to use Neptune Break and whatever that is that. And don't forget about my other skills, by the way. Let's use that Love Heart again, because apparently Pirachu has weakness to this attack, which is interesting. Actually, you know what? Uh. I to say, is it, can I get close enough to position everybody into a square? Do what I'll put you... I can do this. If I have some compa. Heart Force. Let's see what this is all about. Heart Force Go. Ooh, not too shabby. Bazooka Rapid Fire. Hearts break. Awesome. Cause I keep forgetting that is a thing. Two small rush attacks. So if I can again position every. Uh, let me see that again. Oh, maybe only Neptune can use it. Ladolphinus, go! So far, this battle doesn't seem too hard, especially after the parts break. Yeah, I can't reach enough for the healing. Maybe the XP2. Now, let me see that. All oh, must be in the same transform. Okay, that's why. I'll tell you what, Let's see a few more rush attacks. I want to see this other move that uh, I want to see this other move that Bisha has. Gold Warrior Bondum, go! <laughs> this is this is actually pretty awesome. Ultron Corpus, right? Another parts break. Unless that has to do with all of the stacks, or have I been legitimately parts breaking? Where is you there? Win for Bisha! Game Industry Chocolate? Level up for IF. Level up for Kappa. I didn't run away from a monster. Bisha? 
And down she goes. It's all right. She really gave it her all. She's just fatigued. I see. That's a good thing. Store out of nowhere. Eastwar, why are you here? I wanted to come see what all the commotion was about. It appears everything is already resolved. Now then, your name is Wadichu, yes? Without a doubt, what ultimately changed your appearance was the delusion phenomenon. This anomaly, occurring in game industry, has been shrouded in mystery. But we may now be able to make sense of it. transformed into some fiendish, deranged, mad scientist type character? She was the only character with common sense in this game. How could the writers let this happen? Neptune, I have not turned into such a character. I just wish for his assistance in shedding light on this delusionary epidemic. Oh, why didn't you say it that way? I thought you were getting ready to dissect him. Neptune aside, what do you think? If you decide to assist us, I'll pardon you for some of the incidents and uproar you've caused. Of course, we will only suspend your sentence. I don't know. My pride doesn't want to allow me to help out at a crummy facility competition. As someone who's rotten to the core, being an outlaw suits me too. I see. In that case, you will forfeit 10 billion credits for damages <laughs> <including> <laughs> Uh, that's <laughs> dang. Gotta got you there, Berichu. Seriously, I still want to call him Berichu. How disappointing! I would have accepted your assistance as ample compensation. I was willing to lift all charges and grant you a reprieve. Ugh. He's thinking about it. He definitely got spooked by those digits. In fact, right now, Kampa is living at the Basilicon, so you would have constant access to her delicious meals three times a day. You serious, Chu? Then I warrant you, swear in the name of all might, that I'll help the best I can. Is Parachu really gonna help us? Have you no pride, little rat? Come on, let's hurry to the Basilicon to do some research on the delusionary effect. <laughs> and off she goes. I love that sound effect whenever Pirachu leaves. Hey, by the way, where did the ninja go? He was just here, but now he's gone. You're right, he's suddenly vanished. Using the confusion of the moment to escape, as expected of a ninja. How dirty. It's annoying we couldn't catch him, but it's enough that we know he's a member of Affimax. Agreed. Furthermore, if we can discover the truth, a method of retaliation will become clear. Now I am certain everyone is exhausted. So let us all return to the Basilicom. You have all done a wonderful job. Bisha has left. And one of my scouts has come back. So... Oh, all my scouts are back. Got some doggy jelly, some credits. That's it. Wait, did the other two come back? They sure did. I mean, you got a gel feeler for me, and you got nothing. So you're fired. A few days later... Neptune, I've been meaning to ask you, where is the console that was stolen? <laughs> you goofed. Do I have to hand it over now? Well, now that we have knowledge of Affimax's target, we should store it in a secure location. Great. 
Of course we should. What's up, Nep? No need to be so hesitant about it. You're not losing anything. Why don't you just hand it over to Eastwalk? Nep, Nep. Is it, um, possible that you broke it? Or maybe you lost it somewhere? Even Nep wouldn't be dumb enough to do that. He just managed to get it back. So I doubt she even had time to break it, let alone lose it. If he's slowly closing off my escape routes. Wait, did you seriously lose it? Actually, after all that fighting, I realized it was gone, but I couldn't really spit it out. Why didn't you say so sooner? What are you, some stupid kid afraid of her parents? I thought you guys would get angry. Holy crap, Nep. I seriously can't believe you. I mean, I know that quiet ninja's probably the culprit, but jeez! Aya, oh, yeah. there is no use fretting over that which has already been stolen. That's right! We have to do something about Affimax so we can just take it back then. It's not that convincing coming from the one who lost it to begin with. You've got to think positively in all aspects of life, Iffy. Do you have some sort of new CPU superpower that makes you piss people off? Probably. What you mean? <laughs> What's with the star? Uh. Out of curiosity, you see, what are Bisha and Mr. Mouse up to? Bisha's working back at my store right now. Chuko? Goodness, how rude of you to act shy <laughs> towards my adorable figure. What's with you and calling everybody rude, Chuko? <laughs> That's exactly right. She's gotten quite used to being around monsters lately. And thanks to Bisha, there are more human children coming to the shop. So this is booming. That's good to hear. Wait. Chuko, why are you here? Nata! You're here to meet with Wadichu, right? Hey! Why are you answering for me? Why are you blushing? She has been coming here every day to bring Wadichu games. That's amazing, Chuko. But isn't that just gonna make Wadichu just as lazy as Neptune? Do you really think that's all there is to it, Iffy? <laughs> hmm. I'm guessing that's just an afterthought, and she's just coming to see the rat. I see, I see. So could it be, um, you know what? Yep, it's probably that. Are you thinking the same thing I'm thinking? Hey, hey, hey! Don't get the wrong idea! Uh, as one who works at a game shop, I'm doing this reluctantly to fight against illegal pirating for Warachu's own sake! The fact that he saved me once, or that he interests me just a little, it has nothing to do with this! You just revealed yourself. Not again. I do not need this. What? General, what did you just say? I, I don't need it. Do not make me repeat myself. Th then what about this fanzine? It's extremely rare and it sold out within the first five minutes of its release yesterday. And its contents are your favorite. Busty Blonde. I'm seriously, I'm going to wait for the time where these two, I guess, meet Vert. Enough! I said I 
don't need it. Mm. Is that all you have to say? Then be gone, Stimax. I am a busy man. I can't afford to waste any more of my time on you. My uh, apologies. Half emojis. Alright, I get to save. I'm assuming this is the end of the Neptune scenario. Yep, it sure is. So now I can go to the other scenarios, but which one will we go to? That is to be determined. I'll take care of that in the next video. Until next time, Blood Spinning Lizard, out!